at the cabin trying another geothermal air conditioning experiment. And right now, oops, right now, it's pretty warm in here. I mean, it's not horrible, but the ambient temperature, 82, you know, I mean, that is pretty warm. Oh yeah, I did get a new temperature probe because the one that was on the um, multimeter, it had a loose connection and it kept giving false readings. So I'm not sure how accurate that was. Okay, maybe 82.6, <laughs> 82 something degrees in here. Pretty warm. Okay. Addressing a couple of problems that I had with the other unit, which I found a solution with the other one. I found a pan that I could put under it, and I took and drilled a hole in it and ran a hose out. Now, that was that worked pretty well for what I had. Uh, for this one, what I used was the condenser for a car air conditioner that comes out from underneath the hood, uh, the air conditioner condenser. It, it's in front of the radiator. I tried a radiator, but for one thing, getting those small hoses hooked up to the big connections, you know, I'd have to have an adapter. And I couldn't get the airflow through a radiator that I kind of wanted. It was more restrictive than the air conditioner condenser. I guess there's, it allows for better flow or something. I don't know. But anyway, with this air conditioner condenser, well, let me show you. Okay, right here, this is the air conditioner condenser. I've got it in what is essentially my little closet area there, unfinished thing. Um, it's supposed to be in the bathroom, but I never use it for a bathroom. So I took my portable toilet. It's in the bus. Took it out. I don't really use this for a bathroom. I just go outside or, well, the house is just, I don't know, a thousand foot away. <laughs> so I can make it that far. But anyway, you can see, I, I tried it a little bit. I just ran it for a few minutes. And you can see that there's already con condensation coming out on the bottom. I'm not going to run this long because I don't want to get my floor soaking wet. I've got to find a pan that can go all the way across that. Because as you can see, that's pretty wide. It's as wide as the door of my closet. So, yeah. Anyway, so what I've done is I took and I built a box to channel a box fan through the condenser. And I ran the hoses outside right here. I just got a... You know, the same kind of hose is just water hose hooked up to it. And it's running outside, running to the stream. This uh, water that comes to the cabin is actually, uh, a, uh, is actually an underground spring. And because of it being an underground spring, you have this nice, cool water that's 50 something degrees flowing all the time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this water on and let it run through this for a minute and turn the fan on and see if we can cool it down in here. It, this should cool the whole cabin. Now the other one, um, I said that it brought the temperature of the whole cabin down by about 10 degrees. Well, it really didn't bring the whole cabin down. Uh, the loft, for example, it did stay pretty warm up there. Just on the other side of the cabin, over where the kitchen is, it was warmer because it was only cooling the area right beside of my chair. You know, that's what it was doing. So, really, I wasn't getting the cooling effect that I wanted. I didn't expect it to cool the whole cabin anyway because it was such a small fan and a small little heater core. But all right, let's give this a test and see if this will actually 
cool the entire cabin. I'm sitting there sweating. It's hot in here. Humid too. All right, let's give this a run and see what it does. Okay, so now I have the fan on. Oh yeah, you can see the condensation. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna want to run this real long. You can tell, you can see the condensation on the uh, condenser itself. It's uh, it's kind of glistening with water. <laughs> Okay, 54.6. Okay, that is the temperature of this condenser, I guess. The air coming out of it. Let's let it stabilize a little. Okay, I think it stabilized right there. 62.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 17 degrees Celsius. 16.9 is going down. Well, that makes sense. It would be going down because it's cooling the air that's coming through. We already established what the temperature in the room was. Now, we're going to leave this thing run for... I'll leave it around about 30 minutes or so. And I'm going to see, we know the temperature was what, 83, 83 degrees, something like that. Okay, we'll, we'll let this thing run for a little while. Just this fan blowing on it. And see what it brings the temperature of the cabin down to. I'm thinking it will be pretty good because, uh, it's blowing a lot more air. It feels pretty good. I think this may be the solution. Oh yeah. It's blowing out nice cool air. Let's just see how good it works. All right, well now, it has been about 30 minutes. One thing, I'm not quite understanding, but uh, maybe some of y'all, maybe a, somebody that is into geology or knows something about the ground water temperatures can answer this for me. But all right, the ground temperature, from what I've always heard, is around 56 degrees, something like that. It's pretty cool, but it's not cold and it's not, it, you know, it's not super cold. Okay. How can the water be this cold? If groundwater is 56, or if the ground is 56 degrees, how can water coming out of the ground be 50 degrees? How is that possible? You can see the temperature is now coming up. It'll stabilize with whatever the room temperature is. But, like I was saying, am I wrong about the ground temperature being 56 degrees? Because that's what I've always heard. Um, and I went to Mammoth Cave and they told, they told that it was 56 degrees in the cave year round. And if that's true, how can the water temperature coming out of the old coal bank be 50 degrees? Um, maybe I'm wrong about ground temperature, but it doesn't matter. That's what we're getting from the temperature of the water. And it's getting pretty cool in here right now. Um, all right, right now we are right beside of the air conditioner. Let's go way over here. Okay, we are over in the kitchen area, and let's just see what the uh, thermometer settles out at. It feels cold here, too. That is a very effective air conditioner. I don't think I would be able to leave that running all the time. Notice I'm not sweating anymore. Uh, sun's shining outside. It's 85, 
outside. Uh, according to the weather, it says it feels 90. It's like 85 degrees outside, though. And in here, right now, blowing through that unit. All right, right here, right now, it is 67 degrees. Like I said, it feels cool in here. Like almost 68 degrees. It feels good in here, actually. All right, now, what about the loft? Okay, the thermometer is right up here. I've got it up higher than my head. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is around, let's see, close enough. Okay, around 71, 71 degrees. Hey, that's pretty good, I think. And it is getting colder in here, too. <laughs> it's going to freeze me out. I kind of like it. Not bad. Let me get my thermometer back down. Okay. And once again, oh, yeah. <laughs> once again, right here, this is my cool spot right here. I'm definitely going to have to do something about condensation. But, okay, that's another issue. It's easily solved. I just need uh, another pan. Uh, yeah, my floor is getting a little bit wet, but it will dry pretty quick. I just open up the door. It'll dry pretty quick. It's not going to hurt it. Um, right after this, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to find me a big pan to put under it or something. But anyway, this right here is a complete solution to my off-grid air conditioner problem up here. This has me, I think, that fan, I don't know, pulls, it, it, it's a regular box fan. It doesn't pull much at all. It doesn't pull near what air conditioner. I mean, my inverter has been running it now for, well, probably about 40 minutes or something like that, and uh, I don't think there's a problem at all. Let's see what. Let's see what our temperature says now. Y'all can see it. 66. .6. I don't like that number. It needs to get either a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer. I would call that a very successful test. I now have an air conditioner that works really well. Very satisfied with it. Well, I guess that's going to about do it for this video. Got my air conditioner. I'm very satisfied with it. Actually, I'm getting kind of cool. I think I'm going to have to turn it off. But I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see y'all on the next one.